Hey everybody, time for another Monday Movie Review. This one is about the movie Meteor, which is from the 70s, uh, specifically from uh, 1979. It's got, um, it's got uh, Sean Connery in it, Natalie Wood, um, Martin Landau, a uh, bunch of other people <laughs> that if you're older than me, you probably know these fucking people. Like, oh, sorry. Also, Henry Fonda. Like, those are the people I know, like Sean Connery, Natalie Wood, and Henry Fonda. Oh, and Martin, Martin Landau. But, like, the rest of the people, like, I'm not familiar with. <laughs> um, it's It was really funny. Uh, watching this because, <laughs> because I watch it in a group. Like, I do most of the movies I review here, if not all of them. Um, the fucking, <laughs> like, one of the things we realized is that they said that the thing was moving like 30,000 miles per hour, but. What they said in the movie actually means it was traveling way faster and had, like, more energy than, or, like, about the same energy as the fucking thing. I think it was more energy than the the asteroid that killed all the non-avian dinosaurs. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. And it would have... Had it hit, it would have, like, destroyed every, like, everything on the fucking planet, pretty much. Um, one of its trivia that this, about this movie is that it almost, it, it almost probably killed a bunch of fucking people. Because there's a mud scene, and the mud gave Sean Connery respiratory infection, uh, I think one of the people, one of the actresses or actors, like, fucked up their leg in the mud. And it was just like... <laughs> and watching the movie, you can tell how dangerous that stunt, like, all that stunt work was. And it was just like... Yeah. This movie also was one of the reasons why American International Pictures, I think that's what it was called, the company, it was one of the leading causes why the company fucking disintegrated. Because <laughs> it cost so much money and didn't make its budget back at all. Um, oh yeah, this thing also was like throwing shards of the asteroid or meteoroid or whatever the fuck just like at the planet and destroying various places. <laughs> and like, the first place that gets, like, peppered with this shit is Italy, and it they literally just looks like photon torpedoes from Star Trek. Uh, the, like, the meteoroid or whatever has, like, its own music. Its own music cue, which is pretty funny. Um, it was weird seeing the Twin Towers getting destroyed by something... Pre, you know, pre nine eleven, <laughs> um, and just like seeing them so prominently. This is what happens when you watch older movies that have like the skyline in it. It's just, they're gonna be there, they're, like the New York skyline. They're gonna be there. Uh, also, it was kind of spooky when like the the, the bit of meteor hits the fucking planet or hits New York and like destroys everything. They showed like this, I think it was like a map painting or whatever of like the aftermath. <laughs> and it was kind of spooky how, how it kind of looked like footage, at, you know, of nine 11. Um, the fucking, Oh yeah. So, the U.S. and the USSR team up, basically, 
to fire a bunch of fucking nukes at this thing. Uh, to try and destroy it. And these fucking missiles... Like, so the Russians shoot their missiles first, but they don't shoot all of their missiles. And all these missiles are on weapons, platform, satellites. And they were all pointed towards the Earth, and they had to change them to be facing, you know, away from the Earth to fire. And, uh, so yeah, the Russians fire, like, some of their missiles. Uh, America, 40 minutes later, sends, like, all of their missiles. And then... Like, the ones that were shot 40 minutes later somehow catch up with the fucking Soviet missiles, and they go into formation, and it makes no goddamn like, how the fuck did that work? Also, these missiles are, like, constantly firing engines until, like, a certain point, and someone's like, why the fuck are they constantly accelerating? Like, once you just get that little bit of, like, poof, like, if you, you know, you just, you reach your top speed, and then you, sh- you know, cut the fucking engines off, and then they'll go towards the fucking target in space. Um, yeah, fucking, this movie is wild. I also only know about Natalie Wood, because I listened to, uh... I wa- I think it was a, yeah it was a fucking I think I first heard who she was in a fucking BuzzFeed unsolved video about Natalie Wood's death. And then I heard about her in one of the episodes of last podcast on the left. But I haven't I don't think I th- this like was the only movie the first movie I watched with her in it that I knew about. And her life was fucking wild um yeah uh that's about it i guess those are all my thoughts about the movie have it a watch if you want talk to everybody have a wonderful fucking day